Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as additional planetary placements. Please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't try to make anything fit. Check your own Moon, Rising, Venus signs for additional messages. And as always, please do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the informations or energies would be available to you. So if you're looking for something specific, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information, along with all my social media information, is in the detail box down below this video. All right, Aquarius. Last but not least, I want to welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you for tuning in yet again. Without you, none of this would be possible, so I thank you with the deepest gratitude of my heart. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Kassarian House of Tarot. I am Amy, and I'm pleased to have you here. Please do consider before leaving hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel so you can get your energies intermixed with ours. All right, that being said, Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for June 2nd through June 9th. I'm going to be laying out this classic Celtic cross today. So here we go. And the heart of the matter is the three of swords, heartbreak, pain, betrayal, and love. Very much I'm feeling a deep sense of sadness here. I'm not getting the sense that this is new. For some of you, it may be, but I'm getting the sense for a lot of you that this is not new. What is crossing it is the emperor. This is Aries energy. You could be dealing with a significant Aries in your life, or this could be the divine masculine energy. Now, we all have feminine and masculine energy within us, so take it as it resonates for you. It could be just representing our, you know, if you're a feminine here, this could be representing the masculine within you or your divine masculine. If you are masculine, this could indicate your energy or be coming through as your person. Um, I'm getting the sense for a, for a lot of you that this is, you know, the emperor is a leader. He is a father. He is um, somebody who's always in control of his time, his money, his emotions, his abilities. He's a builder. He's a doer. He's a thinker. He accomplishes goals. He leads the kings. And what I'm really feeling is this is a need to take control of a situation that's gotten away from you. Um, maybe take control of this heartbreak and pain for some of you. In the distant past, we have the five of swords. So this is somebody who acted in a manner best suited for themselves. Meaning this is somebody who was willing to do whatever it takes to get what they want, to get what they accomplished, not taking anybody else or anything else into consideration. This was all self-focused, wanting to, you know, win at all costs. This could be also conflict, external or otherwise. Um, so we'll get clarifications on these uh, here in just a little bit. I was going to say as we go, but that was not going to be the case. All right. So recent past, we have the two of wands. So this was a decision that was either had been made and not acted upon or a decision that needed to be made here. And having two paths laid out in front of you, needing to choose one or the other, which way to go. Holding the world in your hand, your your staff in the other, very passionate decisions about what's going to, what, how to move forward on your journey, on your path. What you're wanting to see happen, Aquarius, is actually you, the King of Swords. Um, this is, you know, getting truth, speaking truth, having knowledge, making decisions based off of, you know, logic and um, facts and data and knowledge, not relying on your emotions to lead you. This is actually shutting them out. This could be being cold and distant as well. We'll get... Uh, We'll get clarifications, like I said, here in just a short little bit. All right, so future energy coming in. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is shared love. This is somebody who is loving, kind, gentle, caring, compassionate, um, nurturing, very intuitive, very psychic. It's very much a loyal, loyal and a dedicated friend, great listener. This is somebody who can also withdraw from people very suddenly, very quickly, kind of like... I, 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 you like, I really see cancer with the queen of cups, though it can represent any of the, the, um, water signs, but why I see cancer the most is because I, when I say withdrawal, suddenly I think of the crab shell and you, know, this is somebody who kind of withdraws within and like suddenly and quickly kind of without warning. Sometimes they can be seen as a manipulative energy, especially when it comes to emotions. 
Um, I don't tend to think that, they, that, that it's always very um, self-conscious of the Queen of Cups that she's being manipulative. I don't think it's coming from a place of malice either. For It can be for some. Um, but it's somebody, a Queen of Cups that's very much in control um, of themselves. It has awareness of themselves. Um, kind of awakened, shall we say, kind of vibrating at a higher vibration. They have a tendency, what happens here is with, the, with, with, with manipulation is that they want the best for the for their soul tribe, for their family, for the people that they love. And um, what they think is best and what the other people think is best doesn't always align. And the Queen of Cups may not always see things that way and can therefore come across as manipulative. But enough of that diatribe. <clears throat> how you're seeing yourself or how others are seeing you at this time is the Nine of Swords energy. So this is really being in your head. Worries, fears anxiety, sleepless nights, going over all the coulda, woulda, shouldas in a situation, Ex taking yourself to mental task. You're flogging yourself. This is an exhausting, never ending and not accomplishing anything energy. All right. Outside influences, queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there too. But this is somebody who is being just as equally strategic as the King of Swords. The Queen of Swords is somebody who is loyal, knowledgeable, has the wisdom, has the experience behind her. She can be seen, again, as cold and distant, divorced woman for some, um, not all. But this is somebody who is um, very determined to speak truth and knowledge and have only truth and knowledge spoken to her. She's not going to tolerate any tomfoolery, any pussyfooting around. She's not, you know, she's not into mind games. She's not going to play. She's not going to play them. She will take that sword and cut out anything that's not going to align with, align with her highest good, highest self. But she is a dedicated and loyal friend to those who are just as dedicated and loyal to her. Very interesting energy hopes and fears coming through with the nine of wands. So there's something that you're hoping finally happens for you, Aquarius. This is something that you have been fighting for, longing for, been through the battle, been through the war, got the scars and the, and the, uh, the, the bloody nose to prove it. This is kind of being lyrious, tired, worn out, exhausted. You're almost there. You've got nine wands. You need that 10th wand to be able to lay this down. But you're, you're still fighting for it. And, and I feel like what you're hoping for is that you will be able to lay this down. That you'll finally get to achieve it, what it is that you've been waiting for. And I get for some of you a very long time. All right. Future energy coming in here. Possible outcome is the Six of Swords. So this is moving away from that turbulence, from troubled times, from hardship. It's taking lessons learned and moving forward to calmer waters and people and things that are going to align with your highest good. That Queen of Swords cuts out what doesn't align with her highest good. So that's kind of where you're moving towards. It's the way, who and what and where and how and when things are going to align with your highest good. You're no longer going to be in that low, dealing with any low vibrational energy. It's forward and upwards from here on out is what I'm gathering. And feeling with that six of swords. All right. So overall energy here is the higher font. So this is being the teacher and the student. This is being a, in a position to take the lead, um, to go towards what it is that you're searching for. This could be entering into higher levels of commitment. It's about family traditional values, um, spiritual knowledge and growth. For some of you, this could be indicating going back to school, um, getting a higher education. This could also be learning a new trade, something new, um, very much in speaking it, teaching it. When the student appears, but this this teacher appears when the student is ready, and I feel like that is really the case for a lot of my Aquariuses out there. This is you ready to lead, take the lead and teach. And what is hidden here is the Three of Cups. Good news coming in, reasons to celebrate, joy, happiness. Happy occasions as well as for some of you could indicate a significant reconciliation. Bottom of the deck and why I say significant is because we have the Ace of Cups, a renewal, a new beginning in love. Very nice Aquarius. All right, Spirit Team, can we please get clarification for the 
cards on the board for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. Starting with the Three of Swords, the heart of the matter. What is this Three of Swords energy, please? The heart of the matter for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please clarify the Three of Swords for Aquarius. Well, we are going to take what flipped the tower, the world, the seven of swords. And I'm going to take this as a, what would have been on the bottom. Um, some of you, this could be a Libra you're dealing with, but I don't really get this. Yes. Yes. All right. I love it when it comes together like that. Okay. Aquarius, the three of swords. I feel like this, you're, the truth is being exposed. You're getting truth and knowledge and seeing things in the truthful light. The tower's coming in and it's like hell, it's hellfire raining down. Some of you may be going through a dark night of the soul um, where you just, you know, you're waking up, you're getting enlightenment about situations, your ideals, your morals, your values are shifting and changing as the truth becomes apparent to you and you see things in a whole new light. This is the burning away of any lies, manipulations, half-truths, deceptions, sneaking around, this whole thing right here, it's leaving it behind. You're completing that cycle. I feel like you've been stuck in the cycle for some time, but now things are balancing out. You're leaving behind this heartbreak, this pain. What is this emperor? What is this emperor energy, please? Crossing the three of swords. Interesting. What else can you tell me about the emperor? Thank you. Yep. All right. So there's something that you've been holding on to. Um, maybe an ending for some of you. And now it's taking action towards reconciliation with somebody in your past where, you would have, where things may not have been equal and balanced before, but now you're wanting to balance them out because so you know this is what's going to make you happy. Um, in the meantime, you know, this is about taking control. You know, what's ended? What have you been holding on to? What, what's not serving you? I really feel like this is a situation for some of my Aquarius is where you really need to evaluate what is in your best interest. It's also can indicate that somebody has been kind of stacking the board, setting things into motion that only benefits them, Aquarius. So we really need to take a look at that. Could be an Aries. Could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo. But this is, you know, I'm getting this, I'm hearing... Plays the game for keeps. This is somebody who plays the game to serve their, plays games to suit their own end to get what they want at any cost. Could be you, could be them, but somebody here has been doing that. All right. Let's see, past energy, this five of, five of swords. What is this five of swords energy for the distant past, please? For my Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yep. So this has definitely happened in the way distant past. For, for some of you, the, the, this could be, you know, a week ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. This is a situation that happened in the deep dark past. This is somebody, Cancer, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody who had a lot of love, had a lot of affection, was very romantic and daydreamy. And kind of made their, you know, romantic gestures quite a bit, or you did to them. But this is somebody who, again, had to win at all costs, doing whatever it takes to benefit them. Um, I get the sense they didn't allow for things to, to progress naturally. They got impatient. For some of you, this could have been a third-party situation which you were dealing with or end up dealing with. But I feel like this was somebody who you invested, you or them invested a lot of time and effort into this connection. Yeah, and there was definitely an offer. Yes, this is something that you were fighting for. Ah, I'm getting this now. You, this was Aquarius. For some of you out there, this is somebody that you really fought hard for. You, you invested a lot of time and money. You were patient. You were romantic. You were, you were that. I feel like for some of you, you were legitimately like the knight in shining armor where you swooped in and saved this person. Time and time again. 
but you are left with this, this five of cups as a in return regret and sadness over what was lost here needing clarity there was a lot of things that just didn't make any sense to you a lot of confusion all right so what is this two of wands recent past energy please from my aquarius sun moon rising venus the higher font taurus energy the queen of pentacles the four of wands the ace of cups so you have had a decision that you needed to make. So I mean, some of you, this could be a wedding proposal, a proposal of marriage, um, of engagement, of a new love, or a reconciliation, a renewal in love. There was a path that was laid out before you too. Um, that had a lot to do with you know traditional values, stability, growth, nurturing, um, and again a long term commitment from a long term partner. Something that you fought for, that you waited for, that you had, a, there was a lot of sadness and regret over this. And with this Queen of Swords energy that you felt was, either they felt or you felt like this was a victory when this came into you. All right, so what is this King of Swords energy? For how Aquarius wants to see this wrap up, what conclusion, how they want this to go. What is this King of Swords energy? Please clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, Judgment. The Chariot, Card of Cancer, the Ten of Cups, Justice. Yeah, you want things to balance out. You want things to equal out. You're wanting to make peace with whatever it was that happened in the past, and you're wanting to move forward. You want victory. You want this Ten of Cups, the you know that emotional bliss, joy, happiness in all aspects of your life, from from you know home and family to friends to career. You want that overflowing. Of, of, of joy and happiness and love here that you that uh I almost said universal <laughs> that fairy tale ending you're wanting things to be equal and fine you want this heartbreak to equal out and you're wanting the truth and knowledge on how to do it and speak it because there you are right there you are Aquarius all right what is this queen of cups future energy coming in from my Aquarius what is this queen of cups Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. Ooh, that's a lot of metal energy, a lot of air energy there. Four of Cups. Yeah, this Queen of Cups. They're not happy. Whoever think body in this energy, they're not happy. They're they're discontented. I feel like therefore they may be keeping an eye on you, or they're wanting to seek some sort of truth or knowledge. I feel like they're, yeah, not a sword. There's a lot of worry and anxiety for this person. They're not seeing things. Quite clearly, they're kind of going over the coulda, woulda, shouldas in this situation, trying to find the link or the place where it all went sideways. They, are, however, are taking a rest, a time out. They could be at a distance from you. Uh, I feel like there's not communication really happening at this point. Um, there's a want for communication, want for truth and knowledge. Um, but I feel like this is, yeah. They're trying to make a decision on whether or not to walk away from this completely. Well, walk away from their Aquarius. For some of you, I, I feel like they're, they're confused. They don't know. And it's, it's, yeah, a lot of them, they don't know what to do. All right, so what is this Nine of Swords for my Aquarius? How they see themselves or how others see them? What is this Nine of Swords for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Two of Swords, Page of Wands, Five of Wands. You're conflicted, lovers. This is a twin flame for a lot of you. I'm going to call it. This is Gemini energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini or have somebody who has Gemini predominantly in their chart. But this is making a decision. This is, has to do with somebody that you feel extremely connected with. Whether it's you or them, they, there's a strong connection <clears throat> in this twin flame. And it's bringing you a lot of worrying anxieties. You have to, you're at the crossroads. You're needing to, you're stuck between two places, two persons, two things, two ways of living and being. And you need to make a decision. Needing the information, the wisdom to, to move forward. And I feel like, the, you know, the two of wands is, or two of swords is about, you know, going within. And it's just kind of like the hermit. Going within because you already have the knowledge that you need to move forward. 
within you and it's really going within and you know finding that wisdom that knowledge I feel like you want to passionately communicate with this person but yet again you're also conflicted um, there could be small petty arguments or if you or if you if some of you may think that if you move towards this person it may lead to arguments or conflict I, I'm getting this deep sense that this is a lot of internal conflict with you Aquarius and this could be, you know, message passages, messages come to you, which causes you conflict and worry, anxiety, and not knowing what to do. Okay, so what is this Queen of Swords outside energy, please, for my Aquarius? What is this Queen of Swords outside energy for my Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, oof. Three of Wands, Queen of Swords. Queen of, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, Three of Wands, the Eight of, Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who has set their attentions. They're waiting for you to come in to them. They want their King of Swords. They're ready to cut out. Yeah, they, they plan on being victorious. They plan on cutting out anything that steps in their way. They're almost confident about it, Aquarius. They're like... I've set my attention. I've put in the effort. I'm really focused on this. This is what I want. This is going to come to me. I'm going to cut out anything that isn't going to lead to my victory. Yeah. They're very much wanting to move very quickly towards this partnership with you because they know this is this. You bring them this happiness. This You bring them their wish come true. Whew. All right. So let's say this nine of wands and the hopes and fears for my Aquarius. Labor energy with that justice. Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. <laughs> and there's that Two of Wands again. Um, what I'm getting is this is something that you've been fighting for. You want justice. You want things to equal out, balance out. You want a new passionate beginning. A new passionate start with this person. You feel like it's destined. It's destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is here, which is indicating a turn of luck for you. Um, you're manifesting, making a decision, may opening up this path. Death, birth, transformation could be with the Scorpio you're dealing with um, for some of you. But I feel like this is really about having waited. And now this is arriving and really wanting to seize the moment, seize the day. Um, definitely getting seized the day. What is the Six of Swords? Future outcome. Future energy coming in. Possible outcome, future energy. What is this Six of Swords? For my Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> you have manifested this. This is there it is. The Empress. The Divine Feminine. You've been waiting, fighting, holding on, and you're wanting to them to either to move towards you or you move towards them. The decision has been reached, not acted upon, but you've manifested this whole entire situation. Yeah, new beginnings, the end, a new beginning, new opportunities, because you've got the wisdom and knowledge. You're moving very slowly or they are towards, towards bringing you in out of the cold. Or you add them out of the cold. But this is beautiful. And I usually don't do this. But I'm going to do this this one time. Um, I haven't done this with any other side. But this is, I just feel like, like there's more. All right. What is the situation for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? What is the situation for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? You tell me about Aquarius and this twin queen, this queen of swords. You tell me. Loyalty, dedication, trust, reliability, purifying, purge, healing, clean energy. One more, please. Oops, give me two. Limit. Final straw, overload, breaking point, trap, stuck, tied down, captive. Okay. And where? 
Okay, so that's that Queen of Swords. They're feeling dedicated, reliable. They trust you. They're trying to purge, heal, and get clean energy. They're at their final. Like they've reached their breaking point. They're feeling stuck. Yeah, okay. The secret admirer. So this is somebody you're not even aware of, Aquarius. Suppression, resistance, shyness. Apprehensive, guarded, cautious, afraid. This is somebody who... Okay, and where is an Aquarius towards this? Boundaries, you know, drawing the line. Time, wait cycles, infinity. What else can you tell me? Frozen. Silence, stillness, no words. Emotional whirlwind, affected, dramatic, unstable. Clashing, difference, incompatibility, conflict. Lust, intense sexual energy, non-committal. Okay. And this connection. What can you what can you tell me about this connection between Aquarius? The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Apprehensive. Guarded, cautious, afraid. Vows, committed, promises, fidelity, distance, barrier, separation, space. Hoping, waiting, expecting, manifesting. Masculine energy and apology. Okay. Uh, I kind of get, get the sense here. Um, definitely in separation. This person is questioning the loyalty. They're trying to clarify themselves. They're at the breaking point. They're feeling trapped. And I feel like they're kind of not letting you know truly how they feel because of the shyness. I feel like for some, this person has been communicating a little bit, but not really fully opening up. And where you're at, Aquarius, is um, this person may be trying to put up boundaries at this time, and you're like... No drawing the line. There is a sense of timing issue here. Things are not. There's a lot of silence, stillness happening. There's an emotion. Like this is emotionally upturning you. Um, which you're worried that's going to create conflict for you. But there's this high intensity sexual energy um, between the two of you. And the, the, the actual, you know, we, this is the two of you. This is. This is the person you're dealing with. This is you. And then down here is the two of you. Apprehensive, guarded, cautious, afraid. Both of you are kind of in that energy where you're apprehensive about like, this connection. But there is this vows, which tells me that this is somebody that either there was, was an engagement and marriage at one time. Or this, again, twin flame. There's vows, you know, it was made in the, you know, up above. As above as below. Um, promises and, and things that were made but there's some distance some separation between you but both of you are waiting expecting and manifesting this connection to come back together but the masculine in this situation whoever this is needs to apologize all right all right Aquarius I'm not going to dive any deeper into that or we'll be here all night so let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you Please do hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet done so. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.